Hi everyone, welcome to Stargazing Sims Dress Studio. Today I will show you how to make the hard shape texture that can be applied to cloth pad topper or as a decoration for a clothing. It's snowing nicely today in here. Uh, thankfully, schools are not closed, so I was able to do this video today. Focus. Okay, let's start. You will need the gr grid guide for this pattern. You can find it on Stargazing Seams Stress Group. You can either print it or use it as a guide from your PC or phone, whatever device you're using. First of all, you will need to assess how much fabric you will need for whatever thing you are planning to apply the texture to. I am applying the texture to my new pattern that is manta ray and that will be the topper. I will make an exposed core with that texture, with the hard texture. Now how much fabric will I need? It depends how big you are going to make the, the gaps between each line. For a standard cloth pad I make a gap between each line. The gap is one inch. For a clothing I would make probably two inches, two and a half. You can play about, see how how you like the the size for whatever you are planning to do the hard texture. Now, this is my topper size. Uh, the, sorry, this is my core. I assemble the core, and that's the size. I will apply the hard somewhere around here. Is a nice area. I will need it as big and as wide as this one. So I need a bit wider than than the original pattern. I need I need it to be about three to four inches wider than the pattern on each side. The Topper doesn't need to be longer because you will not lose much length, but you will lose a lot of width. Okay, now we've got this one sorted. I will proceed to make the grid on my topper fabric. I'm using Crayola. Super Tips washable marker so it's easily washed off of the topper. I will mark the middle of this piece so my piece is 12 inch wide middle will be 6 inches. This will give me an idea of where to start making my lines so they are centered and the heart will be centered on the topper. So I will start with a line 0 0.5 inches away from the middle on one side and the other line one inch off or 0 0.5 inch off from the middle or one inch off 
from the first line I've made. That's my first two lines on the grid. Those are number five and number six from the top. All right, now I will make lines to the right, line number seven. You see here I have numbered my lines to make it easier how many lines I need to make on the on the topper. So now I am I am making the top lines. I'm making those lines here. one inch apart. I'm doing them using my quilting ruler that has a nice one inch grid. Okay, how many do I have now? I've got the six, the seven, the eight, the ninth and one more on this side. And on the other side, so I've got the fifth, I got the fourth, third, second, and first line. And now I will make the lines that go this way. So the first top line I will need to make somewhere away from the top edge of my fabric topper. Approximately there where I wanted the heart to sit. Just to make sure I've got it okay. Alright. Just about here. My heart will start about here. That's the first line. Next line will be one inch below that. That's two, three. Four, five, six, and seven. Now that was the easy part. Now for the difficult part is to mark the stitch uh, stitch points. There where you will be stitching those points together to create the heart and the honeycomb texture. I like to mark my grid using lines that go in. I will show you just now. Counting I will be marking this one. So that's the third line third line length way on the first line width way. So one, two, three. This one. That will be my first point. I like to mark them with a little line to inside and the other one is next to it. You can use different colors for each pair as you see on the grid, each pair of dots got an arrow, double ended arrow, to show you the points that needs to be stitched together. So you need, you can make those pairs in different colors of 
of your pen to make it less confusing. Now I will continue marking my fabric as shown on the grid. Do not rush with this because if you rush you might miss miss mark it and it will not look like a heart. Trust me I've done it, I've been there. <laughs> it takes time, it's not for the faint hearted, but once it's finished it looks gorgeous. Let's see if I almost made a mistake. All right, here we go. Now my topper fabric is marked as the grid shows. I will proceed to sew the mark points. You will need a length of color coordinated thread. I'm using a cream of white one, some scissors and a sewing hand sewing needle. Take a length of thread, knot it on the end and start with the top points. Go from the back of your fabric, put your needle through at first point here, take it up till the end, make a small stitch at that point with a needle still in your fabric, make another stitch on the corresponding point that need to be sewn together. Having those two points together on your needle, squish them and pull your needle and thread through. Now to secure the stitch you will go with your needle opposite. Okay. I don't know how to explain that when I'm not very good with words. You just come from one side and put it back on the other. There you go. The stitch is secured. Now you will put your needle back in at this side. Take it from the back, pull it up, and then oh, feed your needle through from the back to the other point. Create a small back stitch with a making one small stitch through the fabric. Then, before you pull all the thread through, put your needle through that loop. It makes a, a knot and ties the fabric and stops it from you to pull it by mistake so it doesn't pull that thread that is at the back, you see? 
you see the thread at the back. Here it is. The thread it stops it from going any further. Having your thread secured at this point, at the next point that you have to stitch together, put your needle through as you done in the first step, through the first point you catch some fabric at the first point and catch some fabric at the second point. Feed your needle through. There we go, squish them together. And secure the stitch. Two times will be enough. You can also feed your needle through that loop here. This is first two stitches. Those will be those two corresponding on the on your printed grid. So we've made these two stitches and this two. Continue in the same manner. So you pull your needle and thread through to the back. Make sure you got all the thread. You make sure you got all the thread pulled in. And now from the back, feed your needle back at the next point. Here is my next point. Pull it up. Not too tight because if you pull it too much the fabric will all scrunched up. Just keep it. Keep it straight. Keep it loose a bit. This as you see here. Not too tight. And make your back stitch with, with a needle back through the loop. Do it gently, don't pull too much on the thread so it doesn't, doesn't pull the fabric. Then continue for each point, for each sets of points or sets of marks where you want to call them One, two It takes a little while to make this texture, so you can put on your favorite movie or some music and relax and do some hand sewing. It takes less time to make the heart than it takes to make the flower texture that you know from my shop. If you do not understand something from this tutorial please let me know on my Facebook group or write to Stargazing Seamstress 
Facebook page. I will sure make sure to help you as much as I can. You can also leave the comment below on this video. However, I am very new to YouTube and sometimes I don't get notification or I miss them. So if I don't reply to you straight away, please find me on Facebook. I'm there all the time. Once you start seeing the honeycomb texture coming out, it's so satisfying. I like to do that in the horizontal lines. I don't think with this texture it matters which line you're choosing to do first. But I just found it easier to do horizontal lines and go, go from one point to another like that. For the top lines where is on, there is only one stitch, I am hopping from top to the, from the first to second line, just, just like this. From this line I hop up to the next stitch. I will continue to make those stitches until I'm finished. I will restart the video when it's time to apply the texture to the topper core. Thanks for watching.